is the greatest spectacle in racing. And today, one of these drivers will do something we will never, green. ever forget. Green, green, green. Simon Pagenaud, the pole sitter in the bright yellow Menard Chevrolet, gets a terrific start. Ed Carpenter, Spencer Piggott, and then Will Power trying to go around the outside, and he does. The reigning Indy 500 champion gets a terrific start. Alexander Rossi in that blue and yellow. Andretti Autosport Honda already making moves. The dust is flying Still on the back there. straight away. It was a beautiful start, Townsend, by Simon Pagano. And look at his teammate, Castro Neves, already trying to make moves on Sebastian Borde. Some of these drivers like Rossi and Castro Neves and James Davison in the black and red car going to the outside of Davison Takuma Sato. And, and Davison's going to have a run on Castro Neves as we're back up front. Ed Speaking. Carpenter taking a look. He's in the draft. Will this be the first pass? Pass for the lead. No, he thinks otherwise. Here is the yellow. Colton Herta stranded on lap six of 200. Telling to tow you to pit road. He didn't have enough speed to roll it all the way around the track, so Try we don't know where it died. Him. Car is smoking, Kevin. It is indeed a gearbox issue. So you heard Brian Barnhart talking to him, try to get it to neutral and push it back. But one of the favorites already is essentially out of Not contention for the win. Swift. Rossi's car is on fire right now. He is making moves, and he's going to make a move for the lead, and it'll be the first pass, and he backs off. Control of this race has shifted from Simon Pagano on that run to this guy, Alexander Rossi. Said he needs to be a little bit better through traffic. on oh, a spin on pit road. Marcus Erickson. The, Marcus Erickson on pit road. Rossi finishing up his stop here. Four fresh fires on tires, and a problem for Rossi. They are having a problem oh. here on pit road. They cannot get the fuel to plug in. Remember earlier, they had to double clutch it when the fuel got plugged in. They have two guys trying to plug the fuel in. Alexander Rossi slamming his fist to against the steering wheel. That was a 23 second stop and they had just and taken a yellow oh, flag flies. A yellow flag comes out as well. It's anybody's with just over 50 laps to go. Here comes Rossi. Rossi. He got a good run at that. Oh. He's going to the outside. He might get all three of these cars going into one. Three wide, good almost four there. wide. It's Pagano, Carpenter. Joseph Newgarden, Sebastian Bourdais, and Alexander Rossi, they keep their original order. Trying to get... Oh, inside, Connor inside. Daly slides down the inside. And around the outside is Oriol Servia. Oriol Servia. This is not good for Rossi to be back in the mix and lose the train up the front. He's in the grass down on third, going to turn three. This is oh. inside. Oh. Two out. Alex, oh, yeah. Alexander Rossi leaving the margin ultra small. Is Oriol Serbia oh! drives the pace car. He almost Look drives it. him into the wall. Rossi has got his hand out of the cockpit. He is furious. Oh, that was crazy. He's got a good run right there. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. 25 to go. Inside there. move for the lead. Alexander Rossi good job, good job. takes the Napa Auto Parts Honda to the lead. Pagano now needs to now save fuel. He can't let Rossi yellow, go. Yellow, we got yellow, a crash. Bird, and that is what Pagano needed when he was in the lead. Sebastian Bourdais is in it. Sebastian Bourdais, Felix Rosenquist, Zach Veach, Charlie Kimball. What has happened here? This is an ugly scene with 23 laps to go. Gets down the inside and he's just... Oh, they touch oh. wheels and they touch. Oh. So he was obviously upset with Sebastian Bourdais that he turned in on him when he was there. Here's a different angle. Oh, look at Bourdais' car climb. Veach is into the wall. Andretti gets through. Dixon gets through. Kimball doesn't. Rosenquist doesn't. Harvey does. Look at this. Oh, it's a big hit for Zach Veach. Massive rear impact. This is a 13-lap shootout. Let's go. Who's got it? Pagano gets a good run coming off turn four on Alexander Rossi. Honda versus Chevy on the front straight. Pagano goes to the outside. He might have it. Pagano's got the lead. Three to go. Oh, he pops out way early. Could that be the finish at the line? He's oh, ahead. There. Three to go. Rossi makes it stick. Now it's Pagano's turn to hang on. Might happen going to three. 
Pagano Outside. had a great turn three last time. Simon Pagano takes the lead of the Indy 500 with one and a quarter laps to go. Wow. Coming to the white flag, he's got a nice gap, but he's got to hang on the rest of the lap. Down the back stretch for the final time. And Pagano's trying to run away, and Rossi's not letting it happen. Still single file. Rossi on the high line, he has outside, to tuck it back him. in. The short shoot. Clear by two. Rossi's going to have a massive draft on Simon Pagano into the home stretch. Less Get than back. half a mile. Simon Pagano sweeps him at the May and Three wins. He's face. made an Indy That's 500. Back. How about that? You've won the Indianapolis 500, can you believe it? I wanted to share with the fans, so sorry that took a, a while, but I guess it wasn't very conventional to finish this way, but uh, it's hard to believe right now, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's been such an intense race. I believe we led most of the race, so uh, the car was just on rail, the yellows came out perfectly, stars are aligned, so man, wow, I'm seeing myself on TV with this. It's pretty amazing. So, dude, it's, uh, a dream come true, a life, a life of, uh, you know, trying to achieve this. So um, I'm just, I'm just speechless. It's just incredible. I, I never expected that to be in this position, but I certainly was trying to make it as hard as I could. So I want to thank the fans. The fans are amazing, and uh, it was awesome to share that with you guys on the, on the yard of brick. Thank you so much. You're the best in Indianapolis. You can hear 300 plus thousand people cheering you on. You and I have talked a lot in the last month. People were questioning you, Simon. How much did that motivate you as a driver? The milk motivated me. <laughs> uh, it didn't. I'm just focused on the job, man. It's um, when you have a car like this, a team like this, you just uh, work your way and it's all about achieving and executing at the end. So we did execute perfectly today. No mistakes like we talked about. And here we are, Victoria Lays, man. We did it. <laughs> Watch the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix Race 1, Saturday, June 1st at 3 p.m. on NBC.